Welcome back guys, so pleased you could join me for this special character unlocking, this is the second character that now that I've completed, this is Spectra now, so if you did catch my first video where I did show you all the unlocks for the character Ruin, I really appreciate that, but this is very much the same, it's part from the specialist um, challenges are very different. But um, first of all, to open up the first body part armor, you need 50 kills, just like we did with the Ruin character. And there's no special way of doing this, guys, these first amount of kills. You just get them however means possible, just by using your lethals or your guns. doesn't matter. There's no special way of doing it. Just get those kills. Then we move on to the helmet, the Arctic helmet, which you need then 100 kills. And it doesn't matter what order you do these in, guys, because they will automatically open up all by themselves as you get those kills. Then we're going to move on to the jungle tech armor now. So we move back now to the body armor. And to get the jungle tech body armor, you need to get 175 kills. As I said, it's pretty easy getting those kills. You don't really need to do anything special to get them. Just a matter of having time on the game. Just uh, making sure that you do have enough time to get all those kills and you'll open up all these. So then we move on to the helmets again, or the headgear. We open up the jungle tech headgear now for 250 kills. Then we're going on to opening up of the hitman body armor. So moving back to the body armor again now where we need 325 kills for this one now. So that's starting to look pretty good. The, the more kills you get, I say the better the body armor will begin to look. Then we move back over to the headgear again where now you'll need 400 kills for this one. And that's the whole suit there guys, you can see that, it's nice colors in there. Then we're going on to the professional. Okay, now we need 500 kills first of all for the professional body armor. The good thing about this is you can actually change the color of the trim, which after I show you the helmet of the professional very shortly, I'm going to show you now the colors. Okay, so we're moving on now to the helmet, the professional helmet now, where you need the 600 kills. And like I said, you can change the trim on this. So there's nothing big about this. Like I say, it's not all that exciting, but you can just change the trim if you want to. You've got six different colors to choose from, as you can see there. And yeah, just, just another little thing to play around with. You can have a different color every day if you want to. You can do that with the helmet and the body armor. That's not a problem. So then we're now starting to get into the body again, where we're going to open up the earth. Okay, this is the last body armor we need to open up before we get into the specialist challenges. So we need 700 kills with this one. Then we're going to move back over to the headgear again, where you need 800 kills. Now that's all the total kills you need to do, guys, to open up the first six helmets and the body armor. Then we can start to now talk about the first specialist challenges that we need to do, okay? So we go back into the body again now, where we need to get 20 kills with the Ripper. Now you can't do this until you've done the 800 kills, guys, okay? So once you've done the 800 kills, it will then unlock your chance to now do the challenges for the last six items, okay? Or clothing, customization parts, whatever you want to call it. Then we need to get the 40 kills with the Ripper in total. So you've got 20 Ripper kills, then 40. Now, if you're not sure what they are, guys, I'm going to show you a short little video on how you get them, okay? So basically, once you have got your Ripper Axif, you press LB, RB together, it will then start your Ripper for at least 10 to 12 seconds. Now, remember, you don't have to keep pressing LB, RB to use this Ripper every time. Once you've done it the first time, you can then just click B. That's not a problem, and it will do a quick, short burst of the Ripper kind of slash if you want to call it whatever you want to call it but it's pretty easy there's nothing hard really about this and i'd recommend maps like nuketown um having game modes such as domination hardpoint where you know there's going to be plenty of enemy around and then you can use it now i don't know why but i i still got my ripper active there but i don't know why i didn't still use the ripper i could have done but i think it was after the two um rapid kills i think and i thought because i didn't get them i'm going to use it but i'm going to use this video differently but um I'm just showing you there guys, um, last little clip here now, in just how easy it is just to get the ripper kills. Sometimes you will get the enemy just spawn and they'll just stand there which makes it a lot more easier for you. And again just press that B button very quickly after initializing and activating that ripper. And again we get the last one here. So again very simple to use, you will get those 40 kills in total with the ripper fairly very quickly. 
Okay, so then now we're going into the helmets again now, where it starts to get a little bit more difficult. So this is the Bones helmet now. Now this is a really cool helmet. I do like this one. Couldn't wait to open up this one. Basically what we'll have to do is get 10 kills now from breaking from camo. So you're now going to change your ability now on that specialist character, okay, to the invisibility mode. So in total we need 20, so 10 to get the bones, 20 then um, for the next helmet. So then we start to, I mean that's not too bad actually, you can get those quite easy, just break out of the camo, get your kills, not a problem. This is the more difficult one. This is still using the camo device. I'm going to show you a short video here, guys. But you need to get two rapid kills shortly after breaking from that camo. Okay. So once it's active, you press LBRB. Like I do there, you go invisible. And you just need to get two kills. The good thing about this is that you don't need to keep invisible shortly after getting that second kill. So you get a double kill there. You can see I've now opened up that gear on lock. So that's how you do it. So I hope that's helped you there, guys, into getting and showing you those two rapid kills. Then we um, need now to... This is the most difficult one, but we go back in the helmets again. This is now the chameleon helm where you need to get um, two kills, okay? This is quite hard to explain, but you need a double kill while you've got your ripper activated, okay? So this is more harder. A little bit harder to do. I'm going to show you the, the, the three double kills in total I get so that's one that's how you get a double kill with the rip it's got to be straight up it's got to be rapid two kills okay this is a very difficult one to do this is the one I found the hardest of all but again use maps like Nuketown because they will spawn the enemy right on top of each other you're going to get your campers and your snipers in the room and again and that's another double kill there now I think um, I would say that they, they do like that room because I get one exactly the same in a moment so they kind of helped me get it actually because they did like sneaking in that room there and just camping up there. So I get it on the final kill. I actually, this is the third double rapid kill. Okay so there you go two kills again the same people there they must love that room. But we get the double kill they helped us out there and um, we open up that spectre gear. There you go gear unlocked guys. So basically that is the lot. I do hope you really love this video, um, as I enjoyed making it, but please catch my other videos because I'm going to keep opening up all the specialist characters, I'm going to share with you all the body unlocks and the helmets, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, peace out.